Here, the question is: In a system designed to work out the tax to be paid, an employee has four thousand euros of salary tax-free. The next fifteen hundred euros is taxed at ten percent. The next twenty-eight thousand euros after that is taxed at twenty-two percent. Any further amount is taxed at forty percent. To the nearest whole pound, which of these groups of numbers fall into three different equivalence classes? And these are your options. Now let's first build the equivalence classes diagram. For these types of questions, it's important that we draw it. To draw the diagram, we need to refer to this data. Until four thousand, it's tax-free. So four thousand is our first value. Now next, fifteen hundred is taxed at ten percent. That means four thousand plus fifteen hundred, which is fifty-five hundred, is our next boundary. Between four thousand to fifty-five hundred, we need to pay ten percent tax. Next, twenty-eight thousand is taxed at twenty-two percent. That means fifty-five hundred plus twenty-eight thousand, which is thirty-three five hundred, is our next boundary. Between fifty-five hundred and thirty-three five hundred is taxed at twenty-two percent. Anything above this is under forty percent tax. With this equivalence, classes diagram is ready. Now, as per the question, we have to find the groups of numbers which fall into three different equivalence classes. Here we have four different equivalence classes. Now let's analyze the options one by one to get the correct answer. First option is four thousand, five thousand, fifty-five hundred. We can put them like this. Here, five thousand and fifty-five hundred are in the same class as both are in ten percent tax slab. So this is not the answer. Let's move to the next option. Thirty-two hundred and one, thirty-four thousand, thirty-six five hundred. We can put them like this. Here, thirty-four thousand and thirty-six five hundred are in the same class, so this is not the correct answer. The next option is twenty-eight thousand, twenty-eight thousand and one, thirty-two thousand and one, and we can put them here. They are all in the same class, so definitely not the correct answer. Now it's obvious that the last option is the correct one, but let's see how. Four thousand comes here, forty-two hundred comes here, and fifty-six hundred comes here. They are all in the different classes. Four thousand is tax-free, forty-two hundred is under ten percent tax slab, and fifty-six hundred is under twenty-two percent tax slab. It's clear that option D is the correct answer.